In Edge Animate, we have a stage. Now the stage is where anything that we want the end user to see will be placed, whether that's a button or an animation. Now, because we've not clicked on anything but the stage, we can go over to our properties and this is where we control exactly what the size is. We can also control whether or not different elements are hidden if they are staying on or off the stage. For example, we take our penny here and we're gonna move it off to the side here. If we notice, this side has gotten a lot darker. It basically means by default, this is going to be hidden off of the stage. So if we test our movie, command return, we can see that this is cut off. Now, just to show you exactly how it's cut off, I'm gonna turn off this real quick and let's center our stage. And we'll do command return once more. And we see that anything that is off of the stage here is actually hidden. And this is because we have our overflow set at the default, which is hidden. So any element that we have placed on the stage is going to be visible by our end user and we can create different interactions, adding buttons, or even animations, and it will all take place here on the stage.